What's going on everyone on YouTube? And it's time to debunk that vegan teacher and Carnist debunked. So she was talking about um, Carnist debunks page, basically trying to get people to follow his Instagram. You know, that's fine and all. She wants to do whatever she wants to do. I got nothing against it. My thing is the information that she was sharing on there about censorship and stuff. We should not be forced to watch this kind of stuff. I'll watch it, but we have a choice. This is our amendment in life. We are not robots. We should not have to sit down and watch this type of stuff. Okay, let's just say you want someone to watch it at least once. You know, when they're older, that's fine. Not as a child, but you shouldn't force them. You know, it's polite to ask someone to please watch. Um, and that's fine, but you can't force us. That is against our amendment. What are you trying to pull? So my whole thing is, okay, with Carnus debunked, him sharing his information on all that, and this is where that vegan teacher is getting her information on this. That's not right, okay? Children should not have to watch this. They are too young. This is too gruesome for them to watch. It's not going to stop them from eating meat, but it might traumatize them to the point to where even if they went vegan, let's just say one day, they would still be affected by what they were forced to watch. So there are like people that watch scary movies and stuff. You know, um, some of them that get into this movie and they're forced to watch a scary movie or whatever, let's just say uh, that they're a kid and um, they end up watching it. They get traumatized. Some of these people grew up hating horror movies. They don't want to watch horror movies um, because, you know, they're being traumatized. They're in a position where that's what's playing and they watch it. Um, that's the same thing with factory farms and stuff like that. Yes, people should know about it. You know, I'm not disagreeing that people should know. But expect their rights, the rights of people, the choices we make, you know, respect that. But you can't show this stuff to children, you know, that's why there is censorship. It's not the censor from us. It's because there are children out there. So the whole thing is, um, you have to log in. So it's not completely censored. As far as censorship, you, there is a login age. You can still watch these footages. So I don't know what you even mean by like censorship, acting like it's censored to us. But if you go on YouTube, there's a login age. If you want to watch um, those conspiracy movies, you know, about factory farms and everything, you know, um, all you got to do is log in and verify so you can verify your age. Um, you have to be over 18 because it's pretty gruesome. And when you're younger, it's harder for you to comprehend what's going on. These children aren't going to understand. They're just going to say, what's what's happening to these animals, you know, and it's going to hurt them. It's going to hurt them and not the way that's going to cause them to stop eating meat. It's going to mess with their mental wellness. So they might end up traumatized when they get older because they've seen something they didn't want to see. Um, that's why people work at slaughterhouses and not everyone works at slaughterhouses. I have no problem hunting for my own meat. I have no problem at all. But some of these other people, they prefer for someone else to prepare the meat for them. So they don't have to go and do this. It's ridiculous. You shouldn't force your ideals upon other people. We're not forcing the meat on people. We're not forcing meat on people. They got choices. Uh, they could be vegan if they want. They could be vegetarian. It doesn't matter. We're not forcing people to go omnivore. We're not holding picket signs showing you what happens to plants. You know, I'm just saying, everyone has a choice. It's your choice in life. Now, the only thing is, it's different when it comes to people, okay? So, with people, um, we're, because humans are one species, you're supposed to be there for your own species. 
So eating an animal is not the same as eating a person. That would be cannibalism. So it's not cannibalism to eat animals because we're supposed to be looking out for our own species. That's why we're not as affected. Um, you don't like plants. Plants are living. Why aren't you bothered when you mow the lawn or when you pick flowers? Why aren't you bothered? You know, you're not affected at all. Is it because plants don't scream? What if plants could scream? Would that change your entire outlook? So if plants, you know, a lot of people say plants feel pain. Um, and there's a lot of proven stuff on the internet that there are screams that do come from plants, but they're at a level of, of um, at a pitch that we can't pick up with audibly. So we have to use laser technology to pick up those sounds. And if you want to call it a defense mechanism or whatever, I can say the same thing about when you're in pain. That's just a defense mechanism. When you cry, that's just a defense mechanism. So what's the difference? Eating is eating. At least, at least we're kind to our own species when it comes to not eating one another because that would be bad. And people have done that for survival. But we're supposed to have compassion compassion towards humans animals who cares right as long as you're not going around recklessly injuring animals for no reason just because you want to injure animals um i mean if you have reason if you're hunting and you want meat then that's fine as long as you have tags to do so or whatever um you can go around you know maybe hunt some deer or whatever and you can keep the, the hide, and you can use that. You can make clothing. Um, you can make all kinds of stuff. I mean, at least we know with the skins from the animal, after you gather the food, you can use that. I mean, you can make blankets and stuff, which is pretty nice. So anyways, as long as you have a valid reason to do what you're doing, and you're not just trying to be a bully, you know, I see why not. Um, animals are here for food. And if we don't eat them, something else will. Or the earth will. Because the earth will eat us eventually. We'll eat everything. So, we are all nutrients for the earth. And animals, same thing. But they're also nutrients for us. So, everything has its purpose in life. And I know it might sound brutal to some people. But yeah, there's a purpose. So without certain animals on this planet, other animals wouldn't be able to live. Because maybe they fed on that animal. And the whole thing is the food chain, the whole cycle. Once that cycle is disrupted, um, and let's just say animals that were a big part of the food chain go extinct, that's not going to look very pretty. So yeah. It's not going to be a very pretty sight if the world starts to crumble. But that's why we have specialists out there. They're able to track at least a roundabout estimation of how many animals are in certain regions. So that helps us a lot. So if we start killing way too many animals, um, then they'll start protecting those animals. But either way, I disagree with that vegan teacher on this. Um, I have nothing against eating herbal foods. Um, I eat trail mix. I like trail mix. Um, I eat the unsalted ones with the um, cranberries and stuff in them. Uh, excellent. I eat the uh, no sodium one. And it's got omega-3 in it. So, I mean, it's healthy. But I still got to eat meat. I'm not going to be taking supplements. Especially iron supplements. But, Yeah. I disagree with trying to force people to watch videos on factory farming. Some people are more sensitive than others. And it's not really going to change how they eat meat. You might have a couple vegans. You know, uh, people that might go vegan. But the majority of people, all you're going to do is just hurt them. You're going to hurt their mental wellness. You can't do that to people. It's their choice in life. Their body, their choice, they're going to eat what they want. 
You can't change that. It's okay to teach people about food groups and stuff. You could do something positive and do it in a positive way rather than trying to scare people. That's just going to make them turn the other way. And then they'll never watch that stuff again and they'll keep eating meat. Your choice though. So you could either do things in a nice way where people will respect you and maybe some people might go vegan. Maybe. But only time will tell. I can't tell who's going to go vegan. I don't know these things because I don't know their body. So certain people might be able to handle that kind of diet with the help of supplements, of course. But not everyone can handle a vegan diet. There are a lot of people that can't. Everyone's body is different. Some people need more nutrients than others. One more thing. I remember that vegan teacher, um, she mentioned something before. And uh, we were talking about how no one could be 100% vegan because they're still killing animals and everything. But that vegan teacher said something. To do as little harm as possible and you're vegan. So technically everyone's already vegan. So leave them alone. Everyone's doing their best to do as little harm as possible. So I can really say that even the factory farms are almost vegan. <laughs> okay. But anyways, guys, I don't know what's going on, but... With that new stuff that was read from that vegan teacher on Carnist Debunked, from his Instagram channel. Instead, follow this channel instead. Well, subscribe to this channel instead. I'll give you more facts. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I kind of disagree with a lot of the stuff that he has written. And that vegan teacher is all backing it up. Of course she is. He's just like her. And the whole thing is, okay, we're trying our best in life, okay? We're trying to be as balanced as possible. If everyone were to give up all meat, okay, and we had we were eating nothing but plants, that's going to create even more global warming. Are you kidding me? That's more global warming right there. Why would we do that? Also... I think it's funny how vegans think we're herbivores when a four or five year old will sit there and knock off all the peas and carrots off his plate and go straight for the meat. <laughs> yeah, explain that one. Why don't they want to eat their veggies? Because they're almost carnivore. They're omnivore, but they love meat. Even little ones want to eat meat. I mean, they, they want some chicken. They like their chicken. They'll sit there and shove all the veggies off the plate. <laughs> you should really eat your veggies, though. Balanced diet. Remember that, guys. Balanced diet. Okay. Well, anyways, please subscribe to this channel, guys. And like this video, please. We need a lot of likes. So please, like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything, and you guys are awesome.